Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Behind the Closed Doors. Now today we're going to do things slightly differently. Now normally I'm filming these vlogs with my A6500 from Sony. Today I thought it would be fun to see what we can do with just the Note 8. No image stabilization whatsoever, so it can be a little bit shaky. And external audio, so everything you see will be straight out of this camera. Nothing more. So what are we going to do today? Well, we have a photo shoot. Oh, and we got a lot of Tether Tools products in. So this is our stock for well, probably one or two weeks. So we sell a lot of these. We actually sell to all the retailers in the Netherlands. So we are the distributor for Tether Tools. Just love that product. So it's an honor to be able to sell those to all the stores and get them in your guys' hands, of course. Oh, and by the way, this weekend we will be in Leeuwarden for Tether Tool. So that's a photography trade show and we will be there with the Tether Tool boots. I'm not going to be giving any demos because we're only going to do that on professional imaging, of course. But we will be there with Tether Tools and, of course, meet and greet. So if you're in Leeuwarden this weekend, this Sunday actually, make sure to check it out and well, join us. Okay, we're in the studio. Now, what are we gonna do today? Recently, I met up with a model that used to model for us a few years ago, Simone. And Simone was always a great model, but you know how that goes, right? After a few years, they stopped modeling. Anyway, long story short, she now lives together with a guy who collects uniforms, military uniforms. And now I'm not really into the military. I'm a peace loving guy, what can I say? But those uniforms, well, they just look amazing. So we decided let's do a photo shoot with those uniforms. And today is today. Oh, and by the way, if you're wondering, you're now seeing this video recorded with the front camera two. So that means the, the longer lens on the Note 8. For the next segment, I'm going to switch over to actually the camera, the selfie camera. So let's see the difference. Because when I use the original camera for video, I have to use this mirror to actually see what I'm doing. Because, well, as you know, you can't see what you're doing if you don't see the screen. So we're actually using this mirror. And in the mirror, I can actually see the back of the screen and that way we can record. It's actually the same trick I use with the Sony. So it's a pretty simple trick, but it works like a charm. Okay, so now you're actually looking at the front camera or back camera, it depends on how you call it. This is the selfie cam, so it's a slightly lower resolution. Now the reason I'm doing this today is just because I want to see how the Note 8 performs. When you do a vlog, it's sometimes not about quality. Of course we want to give you guys the best quality possible, that's why we try to film as much as possible in 4K and upload it in 4K. But it's also about convenience. Which camera works the best? Well. It's the camera you have with you. And most of the time, well, let me say it like this all the time, we have our mobile phones with us. And thanks to the smart lab from Rode, you actually also can record audio straight into the phone. And I hope that sounds great. So today is just a test to see what happens if I don't bring my 6500 from Sony. And I can already tell you, the 6500 will blow the Samsung out of the water. For a very simple reason, it's a way more expensive camera and it's built for video and photography. Hey, a while ago you saw me testing the Theta S360 and I really liked the idea of the whole 360 photography. Now normally with photography you have a certain lens and the thing you have to do is make sure that everything fits between that field of view. Now we sometimes call that the soap opera effect, meaning if you turn the camera just a slight too much to the left or to the right, you will actually see that you're on a set or you see that, well, it doesn't belong in the picture. With the 360 camera, everything changes for the very simple reason, you literally see everything. Now, I really liked the Theta and I had mixed feelings about bringing it back, but it was a 1080p version, so I didn't want to keep it anyway. So I had a few cameras on my shortlist and the first one was actually the Garmin Verb. Really like it, has two 4K cameras, it gives you an amazing quality of um, imagery for both photography and video, but it's also on the high side for pricing, it's about 800 euros. And seeing the development in 360 cameras at the moment and also the use we have for them at the moment, I didn't want to spend 800. The other option, of course, was the Theta S 4K, but it's also about 400 euros. And like you guys, I can only spend my money once. Now, some people actually think that I'm sponsored by Samsung because we're now 
talking a lot about the Note and the product I'm going to show you in a moment. But don't worry, we paid full retail for the Note 8. We paid full retail for the following items I'm going to show you. I'm actually going to show it right now. So I decided to go a different route. Normally I tell you guys, get the best quality you can afford because you want that better quality later anyway. With 360, because it's relatively new and the price difference between a cheap one and an expensive one is pretty high. And you also have to look at what are you going to do with it. For us, the 360 camera at the moment is just to play around with. Give you guys some insights about lighting setups. And of course, take some pictures outside or when we're on trips to give you that full 360 field of view. So I decided to go for the cheapest route. That was actually pretty good. Enter the Samsung Gear 360. It's about 150 euros. So that's a totally different price range. And this is something you can actually play with. Now... Again, I'm not sponsored by, so, uh, by Samsung. So why did I buy the Samsung product? For the very simple reason, convenience. Um, one of the main reasons I switched to Android was also the connectivity with my camera. With iOS and the Sonys, there, there was this great app called Remote Control, Smart Remote. The thing is, I always had to switch Wi-Fi networks, give a password and all that other kind of stuff. And it should be a seamless integration, just bang, connect. And I missed that on iOS. And on Android, the story is totally different. You just click the two together and you have an instant connection via NFC. Now, of course, probably in iOS 11, that also changed, but hey, I already switched. So the seamless integration, and that's the same with the Gear 360. You very simply power it up. And at that point, your uh, phone will actually see the camera and will make a connection with the camera and you're off. So that's why I try to keep it a little bit more within brands. Nothing to do with, of course, that it's a Samsung. If it would be another brand, I will buy the other brand. Okay, so we're now waiting for Simone. She will probably be here in about well, maybe five minutes. Or maybe she's already here. I don't know. And let's start the photo shoot. If you like what we do, please subscribe to our channel. Leave comments below. And if you want to see me trying out some other stuff, leave comments below. But most of all, smash that like button. Oh, and by the way, today is a very special day because we almost hit 22,000 subscribers, yay. We never give a lot of attention to subscribers. We started at actually starting this year. And as soon as we started asking you guys, please subscribe to our channel, our channel actually grew a lot more. So thank you so very much for that. But also tell other people about our channel because that's for us the best way to grow the channel. Okay, for now, let's start a photo shoot with Simone. And I'm sure you're gonna love this one.
What are you doing? I'm going to the post office. Is that all Terra Tools? Yes. Awesome. Good. Good luck. Okay, we're done with the photo shoot. I made my selection and these are just a few of them. And I'm now going to retouch those images. And for you guys, that's only a few seconds later. But for me, that's about an hour later. So let's just show you the end results. Here we go. <laughs> rain <laughs> why not okay guys that was behind the closed doors for today i hope you enjoyed the photo shoot and the results if you like what we do please subscribe to our channel leave comments below and of course smash that like button now if you think that the video from the note 8 and especially the audio was okay for a vlog also let me know in the comments below because normally again we shoot this on the sony 6500 and don't worry we're not going to use the note for the vlog anymore for the very simple reason this was just an experiment now this morning you saw me filming this part me talking to you guys from the front camera the selfie camera i'm now using the back camera so let me know which one you prefer okay almost home for dinner long day thank you so very much for watching guys and we have some really cool news for you we hit the 22,000 subscribers today yay See you again next time. Thank you so very much, guys. <laughs> Bye.